Hi, I'm Jordan Walker, a junior economics major from New York City. I'm involved in a lot of things on campus, including student government, where I'm vice president of finance, and Blythe Fund, which is our student managed investment portfolio. I'm also a tour guide coordinator in the Office of Admission. Today, we'll be showing you around Occidental College. Hope you enjoy the tours. Booth Hall is home to a music major and education minor. The music major currently has seven tracks, including a music composition track and top-ranked music production track. A music faculty work extensively with Los Angeles cultural organizations, including the LA Philharmonic and Grammy Award-nominated Professor Schoenberg with the Hollywood Bowl. Our education minor also engages with the community by partnering with local schools and tutoring local children, which Oxy students can receive course credit for. Booth has many practice rooms for students to rehearse, as well as concert halls for performances. Now let's head over to Weingart. Weingart Hall is home to our art history, studio art, critical theory and social justice, and media arts and culture majors. One thing I'd like to point out here is that all academic buildings at Oxy are open to students 24 seven, and students in the arts certainly take advantage of this access. Speaking to the interdisciplinary nature of an Oxy education, all art classes are open to all students regardless of major. Just recently, our new Oxy Arts facility opened on York Boulevard. The new space brings Los Angeles' vast resources right to campus and celebrates our deep connection to our local community and culture. It's probably why President Barack Obama found its beginnings in social justice right here at Oxy. At Oxy, social justice is built into our education because we're being trained to truly make a difference in the world. This location marks where President Barack Obama gave his first speech as an Oxy student, calling for the divestment from apartheid in the 1980s. Now let's head to the quad. Welcome to our beautiful academic quad. Oxy currently has over 40 programs of study, including 35 majors. The average class size at Oxy is just 18, with no classes having more than 50 students. The student to faculty ratio is nine to one, which makes for easy access to our professors during their required office hours. Another really cool fact at Oxy is that there are no TAs at Oxy. All classes will be taught by your own professor. At Oxy, even our STEM classes are small. Let me show you one of our science buildings. Behind me are the Norris Chemistry and Bioscience buildings. We're always trying to update our facilities here at Oxy. For instance, our new environmental science wing is due to open. Oxy is one of the United States' top producers of students that go on to receive doctorates in science and engineering, generating the same number of students per 100 degrees conferred as UC Berkeley. Students and science majors are eligible for grants through the Science Scholars Fellowship, which gives students $15,000 in support of research from their junior year through graduation. Many classes take advantage of Oxy's unique location in Los Angeles and Southern California by taking field trips anywhere from the Pacific Ocean to Joshua Tree National Park to downtown LA to enhance the classroom experience. Recently, Oxy introduced a new computer science major, bringing a liberal arts approach to a technical education contextualizing how technology is used and issues that it may create. Welcome to the Human Science Center. Let's head in. Welcome to the Human Science Center, home to our physics and geology majors. Cool features in the building include dark matter detectors and a geomagnetic lab that geology students use to take advantage of the strange Southern California ecosystem. Although I am an econ major, I did take a class in this building, a geology class, to fulfill one of my core requirements. Let me tell you about another core requirement. Cultural studies programs, or CSPs, are first year seminars capped at 16 students that focus intensively on reading, writing, and discussion. Some previous CSPs include Contagion, from Plague Narratives to the Literature of Public Health, and Get Out of La La Land, Race, Space, and Power in Los Angeles. The interdisciplinary nature of an Oxy education makes it such that coursework breaks into thirds, one third for major requirements, one third for core requirements, and one third just for fun. Even with this setup, all majors can graduate within four years. Let's head on over to the Academic Commons. We're outside of the Academic Commons. At most schools, we just call this a library, but at Oxy, it's so much more. Open 24 hours a day for five days of the week, and from 10 to 10 on weekends, we have access to over 250,000 books as we are part of the Link Plus interlibrary loan system. 
Throughout the building, there are different types of study spaces, including group study, quiet study, and media rooms. The Academic Commons is home to the Undergraduate Research Center, where students may receive grants to conduct research in any field, including over the summer. Each year, numerous students present at national conferences. This summer, I'm working with my professor to measure multidimensional chronic poverty in developing nations. The Academic Commons is also home to the Center for Digital Liberal Arts. Here, you'll find peer tutoring services in many majors and minors in the Critical Making Studio. The studio also has graphic design software, a sound booth, free audio video equipment rental, and a 3D printer for all students to use regardless of major. Finally, the Writing Center on the ground floor of the Academic Commons is where students may receive assistance on writing assignments from peer or faculty advisors from 7 to 11 p.m. on weekdays. Other tutorial services include our Academic Mastery Program and Scientific Scholars Achievement Program. Hi, my name is Megan Modell. I am a Senior Economics and Japanese Studies major from Bellingham, Washington. Some things that I'm involved on campus include playing the violin in the music department. I'm a member of Kappa Alpha Theta Sorority. I am a member of the Economic Students Association, and I've studied, interned, and done research abroad in Tokyo, Japan. This tour is gonna to be focusing on student services, so let's get started. Welcome to Emmons. Let's go take a look at our health center here on campus. They actually provide a lot of different services for students, both for physical and mental health. For physical health, they have walk-in hours, they also have appointments. My personal favorite event that they put on is in the quad, which are flu shot clinics. And they actually bring therapy dogs to campus as well, because they understand that shots are very stressful. They also provide a lot of resources for students regards to mental health, including walk-in hours and appointments. They also provide free short-term counseling for every student here on campus and can give you referrals off campus if needed. They also support our mental health destigmatization clubs, initiatives, and support groups. Okay, let's head on over to the AGC. Welcome to the AGC or the Arthur G. Coons Administrative Building. So this is the AGC. This is the home to many of our administrative offices, including the Office of Financial Aid and the Office of the Registrar. Welcome to the HCC or the Hamid Ben Career Center. This is obviously a career center here on campus, but they provide a lot of services for you the second you matriculate here at Oxy and even years after you graduate. They put on so many events per semester that they actually have their own newsletter that goes out every single week. Some of the events that have happened in the past include resume workshops, LinkedIn workshops, a LinkedIn portrait studio, career fair, a career week. In addition, they provide support for many different parts of your Oxy experience, whether it's finding an internship or finding a postgraduate position. In addition, they provide pre-professional advising for your pre-health, your pre-law, and your pre-MBA students that have interests. That includes uh, choosing classes, choosing a major, finding organizations to become involved in, and also choosing places to apply and where to take a test. One of our most popular programs through the Career Center is Intern LA, which is an internship program where students are actually sponsored through the college to do an unpaid internship. Another program that we have here at the Career Center is Handshake, which is an online job and internship search board where employers specifically post on Handshake because they want to hire Oxy students. So this is Johnson. This is home to our World Languages Department. It's also home to our Comparative Studies in Literature and Culture Department, our Politics Department, as well as our Diplomacy and World Affairs Department. Included in that is also our International Programs Office. It provides support to students who are both interested in going abroad and also for our international students here on campus. At Oxy, there are three typical ways that a student can go abroad. The first is your typical semester abroad, usually during your junior year. Oxy actually covers your study abroad expenses for your traditional semester abroad through your tuition. In addition, there are summer abroad opportunities both for classes and for research. Oxy has a lot of grants that are available for research abroad. And also there are classes abroad. In addition, uh, the IPO has two different programs that are the only full-time programs of their kind in the entire country. So if you're interested in them, you should come to Oxy. Thanks so much for coming on my tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Xander Granith. I'm a sociology major from Salt Lake City, Utah, minoring in politics. Um, I'm also on the Occidental Men's Swim Team and today I'll be talking about student life. We're just gonna head up to our Feast Garden, which is our student-run, student-led organic garden, which also has 16 cute little chickens, which we're gonna go check out. 
Here's our Feast Organic Garden, where we have a bunch of different organic fruits and vegetables being grown by students, um, some of which students can eat or contribute to the marketplace, which is our in-house dining. Um, we also have chickens here. Sometimes they host garden parties where they have tie-dyeing and garden education programs. But yeah, let's go check it out. Hi, welcome to Oxy's Greek Bowl. This is our beautiful outdoor hillside theater, which we use to host our large concerts and graduation. Um, one of those concerts is Spring Fest, which is our spring series of concerts for students here on campus. This year we had Joy Badass perform, and in years past we've had artists like T-Pain, Kehlani, Odessa perform. Um, and this year for graduation, I'm looking really forward to seeing Eric Garcetti speak, the mayor, um, who's actually a former DWA professor here at Oxy. So great place to come see artists perform and see graduation. Now we're gonna head over to the Johnson Student Center in the marketplace to talk a little bit about clubs and food on campus. Here behind me is the academic quad. We got a lot of clubs showing off um, what they have to offer and they're doing some fundraising, doing some organizing, things like that. Uh, so let's take a look. I'm out front on the balcony in the marketplace where uh, we have all of our food here on campus and our green bean, which is our student-run, student-love coffee shop. Um, all students who live on campus have a meal plan here on campus, A, B, C, or D. Um, we do all of our dining in-house, which makes sure we have really awesome food. Um, our food is ranked eighth in the country um, nationally and second in vegan and vegetarian options. And as a swimmer, I eat a lot, so definitely recommend the food here at Oxy. Down below the marketplace here on lower campus is the Johnson Student Center, which houses SLICE, which is our student leadership involvement and community engagement office. It also houses our KOXY radio booth, which is a student-led web-based radio station, which I had a show on actually. Um, it also houses over here our bike share service, which is a student-run, student-led service where students can check out a bike for a week at a time to get around Northeast Los Angeles. Or if you're like me and you have your own bike, you can come in and get it tuned up. Um, in addition, it has a lot of the rooms in which clubs meet, um, and where uh, student government actually has its meetings. So when I was on the diversity and equity board, this is where we'd have our meetings. Um, and one other cool thing about Slice is it offers students discounted uh, movie tickets, discounted passes to Universal and Disneyland. So that's a really cool way for students to sort of get off campus a little bit cheaper. Occidental College is an NCAA D3 affiliated college. So that means we are part of the NCAA. We are also part of the SCIAC, which is the Southern California Intercollegiate Athletic Conference with schools like the Claremont Colleges, um, Whittier, Laverne, Chapman, Redlands, those type of schools. Um, very cool to be a part of Southern California liberal arts colleges competing. As I said earlier, I'm on the men's swim team. So I'm definitely a student athlete. Um, while it's been definitely a challenge to balance school and athletics, it's been really rewarding. Um, here at Oxy, we have 11 women's sports and 10 men's sport, that 11th sport being women's lacrosse. Um, about 25% of our students here at Oxy participate in varsity athletics, um, which would be NCAA sports, and then another quarter of students participate in club sports, which could look like women's rugby or even men's ice hockey. Um, in addition to those, a lot of students stay active by participating either in the gym or by taking athletic classes here at Oxy, which could look like karate, spin classes, yoga, those sort of things, which are all incorporated in the cost of tuition. Let's go head over to Gilman Fountain to talk about spiritual life and club experiences here on campus. Here now I'm on lower campus in front of Gilman Fountain, which was famously portrayed in a Star Trek episode and which is known for uh, having students be thrown into the fountain on their birthdays. Um, I'm also here next to Herrick Memorial and Interface Center, which is the hub of all the spiritual life here on campus. So springtime here at Oxy, um, this last Sunday we had an Easter ceremony inside. We also have students observing Passover. Um, I personally have been inside for Glee concerts as well as um, doing some meditation with the Buddhist club. So those are just some examples of some spiritual clubs on campus. In addition to that, we have over 100 clubs here on campus participating. Um, we have uh, Oxy Bike Share, we have K-Oxy, um, we have the largest club on campus is Dance Pro, which is our dance production program, which over 10% of the student body is involved with. Really a cool way for students to uh, get to know people outside of their majors, get involved with their body, um, and sort of get to express themselves. And so everyone sort of has a Dance Pro uh, friend and they all get to go to that concert at the end of the year. Hi, welcome to Thorn Hall. This is our largest auditorium on campus. This is where we host our um, large annual speakers, people like uh, this year we had Kimberly Crenshaw, last year I saw Toronto Burke, and historically we've had speakers like Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, come and speak here in Thorn Hall. Uh, but here's where my tour ends. Thank you for coming on my tour and hearing a little bit about student life, athletics, um, and those sorts of things here at Oxy.
I always like to end my tours by talking a little bit about why I chose Oxy. When deciding on colleges, I was choosing between a large business school and a small liberal arts school. But I thought about what I wanted to get out of my education. I realized that in order to be prepared for whatever career I decide to go into, that I need to know a little about a lot. And Oxy proved to be that place for me. Also, being from New York City, I realized that I learned best in environments with people so vastly different from me. And where better to experience that than in Los Angeles? Oxy turned out to be the most amazing choice for me, and I know it will be for you too. Hope you enjoyed our tour. Thank you. Thank you.